Hi all, this is Mr. Lim again. Uh, we're going to do a video on carboxylic acids uh, with their acid and reduction reactions. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be learning about this stuff here. All right, and so let's get started. So carboxylic acids can undergo acid reactions as they are proton donators. Okay, so that's what we learned about Bronson Lowry. So let's go show what that looks like. Propanoic acid, one, two, three, propanoic acid. Right, and we got some hydrogens here. You can use your imagination. Right, hydrolysis means we react it with some water. Okay, it's a proton donator, so it'll end up like this. Oops, uh, like this. The hydrogen that is removed is the hydrogen on the end of the carboxylic acid, so it's that hydrogen that gets removed. Okay, or donated, and it goes to H3O plus. Okay, so that's the hydrolysis reaction of that. Um, generally, these are aqueous substances, so that's the, um, the state that you'll put in. All right, so um, they have acidic properties and chemical reactions. What does that mean? So acidic properties, taste sour, that kind of stuff. Chemical reactions, you need to remember that you're all your acid reactions. So acid plus, you've got your uh, base, makes salt and water. You've got your um, carbonates, which makes salt water and carbon dioxide you've got your um your metals which react as a um uh, a redox reaction actually um to make hydrogen gas and salt you've got your acids plus oxides and stuff like that okay all right which again makes salt and water so acid plus base acid plus carbonates and that's about it all right but all of your acid reactions that uh can occur with normal acids carboxylic acids can do all right, just with that hydrogen on the end. Okay, um, the negative ion of the carboxylic acids are called carboxylate ions, okay, and they have a suffix of oates. So let's have a look. Uh, if, let's say, if I did that propanoic acid, this ion that it forms is the propanoate, propan, because it's three, oate ion. Okay, so not to get confused with the alk oxide ions, which is from the reduction of uh, the alcohols. This is the propanoate ion, right? Or the carboxylate ion um, formed from the uh, donation of a proton by a carboxylic acid. All right, if multiple carboxylic acids are in a group are present, uh, then they can all donate protons, so organic substances with multiple carboxylic acids are polyprotic, okay? The most common polyprotic, the one that you'll deal with, is called oxalic acid, also known as uh, ethandioic acid, right? Where it's going to donate that proton and that proton and end up like this, okay? That one is the uh, oxalic acid. Uh, it has a formula of C2H2O4, or it's also known as HOOCCOOH. Okay, that's the, how we would write a dioic acid with this one backwards and that one's forwards. All right, let's move on. Um, so carboxylic acids are weak acids will only partially ionize. So when you do it, don't forget to do the double arrow. So methanoic acid acid right plus some water double arrow to form the carboxylate ion in this case it's the methanoate ion okay methanoate because it's a methane it's a meth group all right um so that's partially ionized so don't forget the double arrows okay and then hydrolysis acid you have a go at it um, you write it out, don't forget the double arrows. Okay. Um, carboxylate ions are basic and will hydrolyze in water to form hydroxide ions because, you know, well, they are the conjugate base of a weak acid. All right. So what will that look like? Let's have a look at the hydrolysis of the butanoate ions. Oh, now we're going to actually draw it out. Butanoate ion. You can just do imagination for those hydrogens. All right. With some water. Again, double arrows, it's going to form what? Butanoic acid and hydroxide ions. Okay, so 
it's going to hydrolyze, hydrolyze, hydrolyze water to make the carboxylic acid again, right? Um, and some hydroxide ions. Okay, and you can try the hydrolysis of propanoate ions. Okay. Um, carboxylic acids will undergo reduction, like all acids, with the hydrogen ion reducing to form hydrogen gas. Now, the only difference is that with an acid, especially strong acids, you're just going to have 2H plus goes to H2 gas, okay? And plus 2E minus here. And you can draw a double arrow, but you really should be drawing a single arrow because that's not very likely to go backwards. Okay, so that's that one there. However, since carboxylic acids are weak acids, they have to be shown in the reduction half equations since half equations are ionic equations. So, for example, if we did the ethanoic acid, okay, ethanoic acid, turning into ethanoate ions, right, plus H2, there's two of those, two of those, and therefore I need two electrons on this side here. Okay, so similar to the... Um, the alcohol hydrolysis, uh, sorry, not alcohol hydrolysis, alcohol reduction, you have to show the thing um, in it, all right? Um, just because it's an acid doesn't mean that you can not show it in the uh, reduction half equation and just show the hydrogen ions. Because it's a weak acid, it must be shown. Oh no, what have I forgotten? Double arrows. All right, um, and then you can try it for butanoic acid. Okay, so... Carboxylic acids, uh, they can undergo oxidation via combustion only. So we're going to combust propanoic acid. One, two, three, propanoic acid. One, two, one, two, one, two, there. Okay. Um, plus some oxygen makes some CO2 plus um, H2O. Don't forget that the H2O is a gas. Let's go balance this. So I'm going to need three of those and... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need three of those. Oh no, that's an uneven number, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to need six of those, six of those, two of those. And then how many oxygens have I got? I got 12 plus 6 is 18 in total. I got two times the there, two there is four, so I need 14 here, so I need seven over here. All right, and so that is how you would combust some propanoic acid is the same as all the other ones just have to remember to take into account the oxygens on the functional group when you're doing the combustion otherwise it's going to be very awkward when you don't balance that right okay that's it see you